I will determine the uh, irreducible representations of the vibrational modes of water really quickly. So first, this is the character table of the C2V point group. And then we need to just uh, do symmetry operations on the water molecule. If we do nothing, uh, all three atoms remain in the original position. If we rotate the water molecule, only the oxygen atom remains in its original position. So only one atom remains in the original position. Same here, if we do sigma V. So this sigma V bisect the water molecule. Well, this is not a water, but you may imagine this uh, CO is replaced by an oxygen atom, and then you have water. So only one oxygen atom remains in its original position. Sigma V prime contains all three atoms in water, therefore you put three here. And then we need the characters of X, Y, and Z. So we look for X, Y, and Z. So over here we just sum up the characters of uh, X, Y, and Z. So that's three. And then we drag it from left to right. We got the uh, characters of X, Y, and Z for each of the four symmetry operations. And then we do a multiplication here. So this row times this row. We get the so-called characters of reducible representations of the nine motions of the three atoms. So those four numbers. And these four numbers multiply by the number of symmetry operations. OK, this is just 1, 1, 1, 1. So we've got the same numbers here. And this row then multiply by each row. So this row, this row, and this row, and this row, we get, uh, again, four rows. So I'm going to just uh, uh, click here. It's B$13 times this uh, first character in the B2 uh, irreducible representation. So again, we, j we just do that. Um, we drag it here, we drag it here, and we uh, filled up this table of characters for the nine motions of the three atoms. And then we sum up the four characters in each row. So over here, we, we sum it up here for A1, and then we drag it down, we get the, the other sums. And this sums divided by the order of the point group, uh, which is 4. And then we got uh, this, uh, uh, the number of irreducible representations. So we have uh, a total of three A1s, one A2, 2B1, and 3B2s. And then out of this nine irreducible representations, we have to subtract the uh, three translations, X, Y, and Z. And we need to subtract the irreducible representations of the three rotations about the X, Y, and Z. So we need to actually subtract, you know, 1A1, 1A2, 2B1, 2B2. So we do this here, uh, 3 minus 1, we get 2, 1 minus 1, we get 0, 2 minus 2, we get 0, 3 minus 2, we get 1. So uh, we have two A1 irreducible representations and one B2 irreducible representation uh, formed by the uh, uh, vibrational modes of water. And we can visualize the three right here. So this is uh, uh, the first one is symmetrical stretching. That's A1. Uh, this is bending. This is also A1, totally symmetrical. And this is B2.